Before cities, before language, even before the first humans took their first breath, our planet was ruled by titans. Creatures so large, so powerful, and so efficient as predators, they dominated entire ecosystems for millions of years. Today, all that remains of them are fossils and fragments. Yet the shadows they cast over Earth's ancient history are enormous. In this documentary, we'll journey back through deep time to meet the most formidable hunters to ever walk, fly, or swim across the planet. The prehistoric predators that reigned long before humanity appeared. We begin our journey not in the age of dinosaurs, but in the more recent past, the Pleistocene Epoch, where one of the most iconic predators of all time roamed the open plains of the Americas, Smilodon, better known as the saber-toothed cat. With massive curved canine teeth stretching over 20 centimeters in length, Smilodon was a specialized killer. Unlike modern big cats that use suffocating throat bites, Smilodon likely used its powerful forelimbs to pin down large prey before delivering a fatal stab with its saber-like teeth to the neck or throat. Despite its fearsome appearance, Smilodon wasn't built for speed. It relied on strength, ambush, and precision. Fossil sites like the La Brea Tar Pits suggest that it often hunted in groups, taking down massive herbivores such as bison and giant ground sloths. But life was brutal even for apex predators. Smilodon lived in an ecosystem filled with other deadly creatures, including dire wolves and short-faced bears, all competing for survival in a world teetering on the edge of an ice age. But if Smilodon was terrifying on land, nothing quite compares to the sheer horror of what slithered through the swamps of prehistoric South America. Titanoboa, the largest snake ever discovered, lived around 60 million years ago in what is now Colombia. Measuring over 14 meters in length and weighing more than a ton, this enormous constrictor thrived in a hot, humid world just after the extinction of the dinosaurs. With no natural predators and an endless supply of prey, Titanoboa would ambush giant turtles, crocodile-like reptiles, and massive fish, wrapping its coils around them and squeezing with unimaginable force until bone and breath gave way. Fossil remains found in the Karajan coal mines offer a rare glimpse into a world where snakes were the apex predators, and where the fear of being swallowed whole was not irrational, but natural. Not all killers came from the shadows of the jungle. Some attacked from the sky, and none were more imposing than Quetzalcoatlus, one of the largest flying animals to ever live. With a wingspan stretching up to 12 meters, roughly the size of a small plane, this pterosaur ruled the skies during the late Cretaceous period. Despite its size, Quetzalcoatlus may have been a skilled glider, using thermal currents to travel long distances in search of food. But on land, it was no less deadly. Walking upright on long, stilt-like limbs, it would stalk small dinosaurs, reptiles, or even carrion, striking with a sharp, toothless beak. With the ability to take off from flat ground and soar across continents, Quetzalcoatlus was a creature that truly blurred the line between bird and dragon. Yet, long before dinosaurs ever existed, the Earth was ruled by another kind of monster. During the Carboniferous period, over 300 million years ago, the planet's atmosphere contained significantly more oxygen than today, up to 35% compared to our current 21%. This allowed arthropods, insects, and other invertebrates to grow to colossal sizes. In this alien world, Meganeura, a dragonfly-like insect with a wingspan of 75 centimeters, patrolled the skies, hunting smaller insects with speed and precision. On the forest floor, Arthropleura, a millipede-like creature over two meters long, crawled through dense vegetation, virtually invulnerable to predators. Giant scorpions, ancient spiders, and armored beetles the size of birds were not rare. They were the dominant life forms. Insects were not prey, they were predators. This era was a reminder that dominance on Earth has many forms, and doesn't always come with a backbone. As the Mesozoic era began, the age of reptiles reached its apex, and with it, came some of the most fearsome aquatic predators the world has ever seen. One of them was Sarcosuchus, the so-called super croc. Living around 110 million years ago, Sarcosuchus reached lengths of 12 meters and weighed an estimated 8 tons. Its massive snout, lined with over 100 teeth, was capable of gripping prey as large as small dinosaurs. Unlike today's crocodiles, 
Sarcosuchus wasn't limited to ambushing from the water's edge. It was a dominant predator in vast river systems and marshlands. It had armor-plated skin, immense bite power, and an advantage few predators ever achieve. The element of surprise combined with sheer brute force. It didn't just lurk, it conquered. And beneath the surface of the ancient seas swam the largest predator of the post-dinosaur era, Megalodon. For over 20 million years, Megalodon dominated the oceans. It could grow up to 18 meters long and weigh 50 to 70 tons, roughly three times the size of a great white shark. Its bite force was the most powerful of any known animal, capable of pulverizing bone and slicing through whale flesh like butter. Fossilized teeth, some over 18 centimeters long, have been found on every continent, suggesting it was truly global. Megalodon hunted ancient whales, massive fish, and anything unfortunate enough to cross its path. Its disappearance remains a mystery. Cooling oceans, changing prey populations, and competition from faster predators like orcas may have played a role. But if Megalodon still swam the deep trenches of our oceans today, we likely wouldn't know until it was too late. Each of these predators tells a story. A story of evolution, adaptation, and survival. They were not monsters. They were the result of millions of years of natural selection, perfected killing machines in their respective domains. From the skies to the seas, from ancient jungles to primeval swamps, they shaped life on Earth in ways we are only beginning to understand. They walked a world untamed, a planet governed by the strongest and most adaptable. Today, humans reign supreme. But the bones buried beneath our feet are a reminder that we are not the first apex species and we may not be the last. The Earth has produced giants before. Given time, it may do so again.